All right, everybody, hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings. Thanks so much for joining me again today. My name is Jesse, and I'm the host here on this channel. And if things pertaining to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, also true, those sorts of things, if any of those subjects interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down below there. And if you don't want to miss anything, any future videos, any live streams, stuff like that, make sure you ding the bell notifications and you'll be notified every time that I upload new content. All right, everyone, so today's video is kind of a different one uh, in the sense that I did not have this specific video planned to come out here um, at all. Something happened today that was an inspiration for me to want to put this video out. And it's funny to me how certain things can be an inspiration, how where we get inspiration from, right? Uh, or what things sort of kind of trigger that mind fire to be, you know, ignited, as it were. So um, I'm going to give you a little bit of background or a backstory about what happened today for me and then why I wanted to talk about this. Now, as you can tell from the title of this video, it has to do with the Hisvatir specifically, um, but I kind of wanted to just cover this subject a little bit because I really don't think I have in other videos. Um, the Vatir in general, we got, you know, our, our Hisvatir, the, the whites of the land, or excuse me, the whites of the home, and then you have your Lanvatir, the whites of the land. Um, all of these kind of uh, semi-sacred beings, they, they, these, these uh, spiritual essences, these spiritual uh, beings that exist uh, in and around us uh, day in and day out, whether it be the, the land outside or the homes that we live in, um, and we share existence with these beings. And um, I've alluded to some things about them in like some of my other social media posts and, and things like that, but today something happened to me that I wanted to really touch on this subject and bring something out that hopefully will be, uh, you know, will, will be something for a lot of the folks out here that are watching to consider as well. So anyways, um, I work from home, uh, especially now during this whole global pandemic thing, whatever. I work from home and woke up as a normal Monday, uh, got my coffee, came into my office space to, to do my work, and then about mid-morning, came out to get something from the kitchen, and I noticed that my uh, refrigerator light was off. So I thought that it was just a light bulb that had blown. Took the light bulb out, tried to replace it. That didn't work. And then I start looking around my surrounding areas, and I realized that I have other appliances that do not have electricity going to them because their lights are off, they're, they're not displaying time, whatever. So appliances in my kitchen weren't functioning. Um, so after some further investigation, I mean, I'm talking, I went all the way to the fuse box, you know, took the refrigerator out of the wall, checked a bunch of things, come to find out that I did have a, uh, a blown breaker switch, um, but there was something with one of my appliances that was causing that to happen. So triaged everything, narrowed it down to it being the refrigerator, got into the back end of the refrigerator to look and see, you know, was the fan blowing? Was, was there anything down there that was obvious? Nothing was obvious. Uh, to me as being, you know, overheating, uh, you know, clogged or anything like that. Nothing obvious, right? So I just start, you know, like we do a lot of times, you know, if it ain't working, you know, smack it, maybe spin the fan blades a little bit, just try to see if there's anything that I hear, any clicking, any, any sort of, you know, abnormal noises or anything like that. So long story short, I'm trying to get to the actual point of this video because I don't want to bore you with all the details, but long story short, um, I got up, I was about ready, because I thought my refrigerator had just basically just took a nosedive and, and decided to crap out on me uh, in the middle of a Monday morning. So I decided I, was, I decided I was going to start taking things out of the freezer, relocate them to a different appliance, start taking things out of the refrigerator, try and save what I could to, to keep things from, you know, spoiling. And as I go to do that, as I open up the... The, the freezer, the freezer's back on. The refrigerator, I open it up, everything's back on. The lights, the, the everything's running normal. The motors are, I go around to the back of the appliance. The fan is blowing, everything's operating the way as it should be. So I thought, well, that's really odd because I essentially didn't do anything to fix it. I was just kind of tinkering around back there just to see if I could find anything wrong and I couldn't. So I wait, you know, just to make sure that everything's back to normal. I put the fuse box back together. I put everything back together on the refrigerator, put everything back in its space. And as of right now, <laughs> as of right now, which is, you know, Monday evening, um, everything's been working, 
normally, right? Nothing has, no breakers have, have switched off, no appliances are, are, everything's working as it should be. And I got to thinking about it. Now, obviously, I don't want this to, to be um, misinterpreted as me saying, well, there's something bigger going on here. I'm, I need to learn a lesson or, you know, it's the gods causing something to go wrong in my life because I have a lesson learned. I'm not, I'm not delusional, right? I understand like, well, obviously there's something mechanically wrong here and I need to plan accordingly to fix it overall. I understand that. But it caused me to think a little bit deeper and it reminded me of the importance of not neglecting our husvetir and the landvetir. And there were some other things that happened recently uh, for me especially that um, today's occurrence just really sort of hit that nail on the head. Was the refrigerator, you know, causing the breaker to switch off or whatever? Is that, a, is that an actual physical problem? Yes, for sure it is. Probably need to get a new refrigerator or some kind of component in there. Got to save up and plan for that accordingly. But where my mind also went with it is that I think I have a husband here who's not too happy about the situation, right? Because Everything is working normal and then for no apparent reason, boom, in the middle of the morning, without anybody touching it, without anybody being there, things start not working. And then with no obvious sign of repair being done, it starts working again after I was tinkering it, tinkering with it and then looking into it a little bit. So in my mind, I'm like, yeah, there's something really wrong with it at the core, but um, somebody's not happy and somebody's making things known. And to me, in my view of the world uh, as a heathen, my worldview, that was my husbandier, or my husbandier here, who resides with me, who lives in the same space, and he's or she's, they are making themselves known as saying something's not right here, and we're not happy. And when the husbandier aren't happy, the home is in a state of uh, disarray uh, or, or you know, turmoil, as it were. Now there are some um, uh, sources that talk about this uh, when it comes to um, the relationships that the people had in uh, Scandinavia, that the, the relationship that the people had with the Vatir of the land and of the home specifically, you know, there were, there were laws, I believe in Iceland, that prohibited the, the, sh the, the shape of dragon heads on ships um, because they didn't want the land Vatir to be scared um, and, 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 and driven away from their lands. They wanted to keep the land Vatir happy, so they prohibited by law the use of, of, of a dragon aesthetic on the front of their ships. So that way when ships would come in, that it wasn't going to scare the land vitir away. Um, and I think there's other uh, cases um, in some of the stories uh, of the husvetir similarly, right? Like there were some uh, Scandinavian folklore that, you know, before you would throw out hot water or relieve yourself in the uh, uh, facilities that you would say, watch out, or you would say, look out, um, to kind of give them that heads up, the husvetir, I mean, uh, the whites of your home, to give them a heads up, that way they wouldn't get wet and they wouldn't become upset. Now in modern times, I know a lot of pagans, um, I know some pagans as a matter of fact, who have a very uh, regular and ritualistic um, approach to the how they interact with their vatir. Um, they will do regular offerings every day, whether it be oatmeal, cereal, coffee, something or another that they give as gifts to maintain that relationship, to make sure that the vatir of the home are happy. And I haven't been doing that in, for a very long time. I kind of fell off of that. Um, uh, practice as it were and I, I lost sight of that um, Some other things that happened recently. I was out, you know um, Taking care of the yard mowing the yard and and some of the things in the garden weren't looking so great And I have and I realized you know, I haven't been taking care of the garden as well this year um, And the things that I would normally be gifting to the vatir of the land I haven't been doing it and as a result um, and, and as a result of my negligence um, things have suffered and things have just not looked so good so overall, uh, within the last couple of days, and especially this morning, it really kind of hit me as I need to reconnect with these, with these deities or with these uh, these figures. Not necessarily deities per se, but with these with these beings, right? With these forces, I need to reestablish a connection with my husvetir. Got to get on their good side, and I also need to reconnect with the landvetir because things aren't as the way they should be. They haven't been as good as I would want them to be. Uh, so that's my own view, you know, that's my own approach. And I thought, why don't I share it out here for everybody and see, you know, how do you guys interact, if you do, uh, with your Vatir, uh, the, the, the spirits and the whites that live in and around your house, your home, your property, that sort of thing. And do you notice how when things are awry, 
uh, around your home or on your property and in your, you know, in your living space, um, that uh, things can potentially get better when you have a better relationship with them, then they're not neglected, right? Because to me today, it felt like somebody was like, you know what? Screw you, dude. Your refrigerator's crap in the bed. Um, it almost felt just like a little jab, like, you're forgetting us. We're not happy. So do I need a new refrigerator? Probably. Do I need a new piece of the refrigerator? Do I need more components in reality? Yes. Um, but I thought that this was an opportunity to share my own views on things and see how it struck with everybody out here. So if you guys want to share your experiences with your vape here, um, how this whole thing hit you, uh, head down into the comments below and let me and everybody else know what you thought of it. Um, I encourage people and I encourage myself now to take a better approach, you know, um, uh, and, and have a better relationship with my, with my uh, husvetir and with my lenvetir. Um, give gifts frequently, right? It doesn't have to be much, but just something that says, you know, I'm living here, you're living here, we're living here together. Um, let's have a, a pleasant experience. Let's, let's live together peacefully. So anyways, guys, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm really looking forward to in a couple weeks talking to Varg and Sol from uh, the Norwegian folk uh, rock band, folk metal band. They do a whole bunch of cool stuff, but it's really, it's, it's folk music oriented, very Norse driven, uh, the band Baluspa. So that is going to be coming out on, on August 30th. Really looking forward to talking to them. So be sure to head down in the description and see the links down there for the ways that you can go and check them out. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one.